Mm -hmm. Mr. Morris, we just heard you say in that uh, documentary, you're still struggling, still suffering. Those, uh, those words really mean something to you, do they not? Yes, they do. And not only myself, it's a lot of them just recently passed away. They've been playing the blues here in Memphis and Texas, but they made Memphis their homes, like the legendary Mr. Fred Sanders. Fred Sanders, yeah. Yeah, he just died. He died penniless on life support. Uh, he had to have, you know, treatment, chemo for cancer and all these different things that went wrong with him through trying to survive the streets and one of the greatest musicians ever in the world. Even though the music yes. has made the companies millions and millions yes. of dollars. Lee, what got you interested in the story? You know, I, I actually did another documentary with Morris and we... Uh, we, I heard so many stories from him. He's just a fountain of stories. And what really struck me is I've seen so many of these blues documentaries, and they seem to ignore the fact that these guys died broke. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, completely broke. And yet you see how important it's been to contemporary music, where all this has come from. Right. right. And Lee, as you said, you hear about so many who die broke, but somebody out there is making some money. Yes. Are they not? They are, absolutely. And that's the biggest problem. I mean, one the it's early, early last century, there, there were um, folklorists and people who would take uh, portable recording equipment, go out to rural areas, put a mic up and say, hey, sign this piece of paper, I'll give you a bottle of whiskey and $50. Right. And they'd yeah. never see a dime of anything. Not a penny. Not a because penny. Because the paper took all the rights to the music. What, what? It took everything. And in fact, someone as far to even put themselves, give themselves composition credits so Good that the money grief. would come directly to them. So Seriously? Morris, mm -hmm. Morris, was this something that happened, a lot of people might assume, maybe 50, 60, 70 years ago, but a problem like this, is it still going on today? It's still going on right today because they look at the young people uh, that got all the skills, you know, that they have the learning ability that we didn't have the opportunity to learn back in the days. But they can learn all these things, but they're not knowledgeable enough to know the, the business side of it. Yeah. And they'd be so anxious to get out there and be seen and be famous and think they're going to make a lot of money. And you got this tyrant out here, this tyrant that's taking every dime they make and they wonder why they ain't making it but they're making shows every night but yet they can't afford to bring their family out to a show and are mm -hmm. there managers who could straighten this out or are they ta are they part Those of the are part of the advantage? problem they're yeah. part of, so they're they're the People it's, who come along and say, I can get you a good deal, but absolutely. they really... And there's a cycle. I mean, there's um, the, the uh, ancestors of Petey Wheatstraw, who is a very famous bluesman, yeah. uh, have been talking to lawyers to try to do royalty recovery. Well, the problem is the lawyers may make get that back, but then the lawyers want we'll half of it, everything right. forever. Right. So their, their kids are taking And stuff. speaking of that, one of the very cool things about your documentary is that you say right up front, hey, let's not make a documentary that tells these stories without giving the money to these people. So how does it work in this case? So, well, there's you, you never want to pay people for a documentary because then they become actors and you don't know if it's real or not. Right. So we're not doing that. However, this this is their story and so much has been taken from them that I want to give them all a piece of the documentary so Morris like and anyone sharing. else involved exactly anyone else involved is going to actually own this documentary along with the people who make it that is That's a great excellent. concept and to raise money for it to you need a dollar from how many people I need a one dollar from 10,000 people it's called okay. crowdsourcing That's it. I love that. <laughs> very cool concept. we'll give you a buck That's back it. in the back well, thanks. Right? we'll get your first two Morris what about can you give us kind of a sense of some of the music we are talking about that you are known for as well? Oh yeah, the blues, and I want to make a special announcement today. We lost another one that went down to the same problem yesterday about 6 o'clock in the morning. He died here in Memphis in ICU. Mr. Big Jack Johnson of Clarksdale, Mississippi. I heard about he took his music from Clarksdale, Mississippi to the world. And he's one too. And he is a uh, he is renowned soul singer Jackie Johnson's father, mm -hmm. I believe. Yes. Okay. Now you're Give each you're going to help out yeah. Morris yes. with All a little right. hip hop Gentlemen, kind of do your thing, thing right? We're going to connect a little hip hop with the blues. Let the young generation know it's all right. All right. <laughs> it's all right. All right. It's all on you.
earth and the sky to cry. Look at the tears roll down the street. The sky is crying. Look at the tears roll down the street. I'm looking for my baby. And I wonder where I can she be. Walking on down the street. Yeah, I see my baby early one morning. And you know she was walking on down the street. You know it hurt me so bad, people. You know my poor heart skipped me. Oh, play them drums, son, play them drums. <laughs> Play us on out as That's we it. say whywestillsing.com. 